So with Count the Cakes, I learned about it at Life Choice Ministry, and I've been coming to Life Choice Ministry since I was about four months pregnant, I believe, with my daughter. So um, on February 2nd, um, I wasn't feeling good that evening, and um, around like 3.15 in the morning, um, I woke up and I was like, I'm just really not feeling right. Um, and then I was like praying because like I didn't know like what exactly to do. Um, and so I just started doing my count the kicks because even though I did it like before I went to sleep and she was fine, um, I was like, well, I'll just do them again to see like how she's doing. I was doing it and time was going and she was not really moving and that's really not normal for her. So um, I prayed again and all of a sudden God was like, no, like you're not waiting. And uh, I got myself ready and then I just drove myself to the ER um, and by this time I think it was like six o'clock or something. And so then um, they take me back and I think that's when like reality just kind of sunk in and it was crazy from that point on. Um, so the ultrasound lady is there and like as she's doing what she like her job, um, I just could tell on her face that like something was wrong. And so during this time, like I'm talking to like all of them about how like I've I've done my counts, like I've done the kicks things, like she's not moving. So she tells the doctor that like there is no movement. Um, my daughter's heart rate at this point was 70 or 72, um, which is way below what it should be. So then the doctor tells me that I'm gonna have a baby, but at this point she says that like, I was just gonna have her sometime that day and it was gonna be C-section. And I was like, okay. So then like the guy's putting an IV in my arm, like instead of an IV, he's gonna do an epidural. And so like he comes back in with the clipboard and I'm about to sign this thing for an epidural and um, the doctor comes in again and then asks the ultrasound tech for like another update. And that's when she was like, um, the heart rate's dropping faster. And then that's when they said that um, there was like a dime size of amniotic fluid left. And they were like, at this point, like we just need you to um, trust your life and your baby's life in our hands right now. Like we have to put you um, completely out to get your baby right now. So, um, yeah, I like the clipboard gets yanked out of my hand. I'm not signing permission for an epidural. And then like all of a sudden my clothes are getting stripped off of me and I'm getting this hospital gown. And so they rushed me to like the nearest little operating room they had. I just like prayed um, after the second round with my IV, I could not fight that one. And I told God that he had her. And so during the process um, of them getting her, they said that the cord was wrapped around her neck four times. Um, that she was breech and that like her head was stuck under my rib or something and then um, her oxygen level like hit 60 or 58 was like the lowest um, when she was born like she couldn't maintain like her body temperature or um, like her sugar levels. As the day progressed the doctors came back to talk to me about count the kicks and so she said that if I would have like waited any longer or cleaned my house or packed a diaper bag and um, it would have just been too late because they said that she didn't have much more time. Um, so that's how Count the Cakes saved her life. Um, I mean, it's meant life to me because like without it, like my little girl probably wouldn't be here. And so I'm just like, I'm so thankful for Count the Cakes. And that's why like it took me forever to reach out to Count the Cakes because my life is just busy and We've been through a lot in the last like year and a half and so I'm just very thankful and I like reached out to them because like Count the Kicks means life to me is how I feel like um, because it has saved my daughter and so I want to be a part of that to like educate or impact or empower like the next mom to save their child.